Hello, my name is Tony Botting and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. This video shows a case where it's required to use the large displacement option for a static analysis to obtain the correct answer. So what we're looking at here is a simply supported constant stress beam system that has been modified with a steel strap on the bottom. The customer is designing the beam system for a vertical downward distributed load and his criteria is to limit the maximum deflection along with economical factors such as cost. This exploded view shows the modification. There is a steel strap on the bottom and it's only about 15 thousandths of an inch thick. The beam members are each 1 by 4 pine lumber, 3 quarters inch thick, and the maximum span is 20 feet. Here's the distributed load on the top surface and the gravity symbol for dead weight of the components. The end supports are pivots on split lines. This was set up using shell elements for the steel strap and solid elements for the wooden beams. Bonded contacts were located along the steel strap where it's attached to the beams and between the two beams. So when we run the analysis, we get a dialogue like this talking about excessive displacements and how, assuming the system is properly restrained, you can turn on a flag to solve using the large displacement option. This term, large displacement, is synonymous with nonlinear. However, for this case, we're expecting less than half an inch displacement and over a 20 foot span that ratio of half an inch over 240 inches is only 0.2 percent. That value falls well within linear analysis theory using the small displacement assumption. So we wonder what's up and read further. This line here says click no to solve with small displacement. Being curious, we click on this option to continue to solve using the small displacement theory. Here's the resulting displacement of the system and you can see what has happened. The steel strap appears to be sagging under its own weight. Recall we used shell elements for the steel strap. Those shell elements, unlike the actual steel strap, have virtually zero resistance to bending. Therefore, if a load that causes bending, such as their own weight, is applied suddenly, they will bend quite easily. The solution is to apply the loads and gravity force slowly in steps and update the structure stiffness at each step. This way, the updated structure stiffness properly accounts for the tensile stresses in the shell elements, so they will provide some resistance to bending. The small displacement solver actually applies all loads, including gravity, to full value using the original undeformed structure stiffness matrix, which won't work for this case. The way to fix this is use the large displacement option in the properties of the study. This large displacement switch causes the solver to increment the loads very gradually in steps. It works like this. In the first step, 10% of the loads are applied and the deformations are solved. The stiffness matrix for the system is then updated to reflect this condition. Then the loads are increased to 20%. The problem is solved and the stiffness matrix is updated again. The loads are increased to 30% and so on. At each step, the thin shell elements start to experience in-plane tensile stresses due to the main beam load, which increases their resistance to bending. Once this happens, the algorithm can solve the simulation properly. The analysis will take longer, but you will get the correct answer. Here is a plot of the resultant displacement of the system scaled up to visualize the deformation. The maximum displacement is about a quarter of an inch. The steel strap increases the system stiffness and reduces the deflection by about 40%. In this video we discussed a valid case to use the large displacement option in static simulations.